Hi and welcome to another training video. Um, today's video is going to be on Power BI and it's just a quick look at why you need to be careful sometimes when you're bringing in data from a folder, particularly when you're applying a filter because what you think you're applying as a filter might not be the filter that you are applying. So let me just show you how you can check this um, when you're doing it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into get data and we want to get data from a folder so that's not listed here so we click on more and now we're going to come across when it opens up we're just going to choose the option for folder and click connect now it's going to ask us where the folder is so we're just going to browse to the folder i've got it on my desktop and it's inside this folder called xlbi and it's called get and transform i'm using the old method to call it um, i'm just saying okay and it's going to get me all of those what are all excel files within that folder now what you can see here is that all of these extensions are xlsx now if i wanted to edit this here which you generally do so you want to edit going into the query editor um, the issue that some people have is they try and do things the easy way now there's nothing wrong with trying to choose things the easy way as long as it works um, what i'm going to do is just demonstrate to you two different methods here so if i say deselect all and just choose the XLSX file types and now click OK. Now let's have a look at the actual code that that generated. So if I click up to the advanced generator, uh, sorry, advanced editor, we can come down here and we can see the filtered rows in our table select rows source. Each is true. Now what that means is select all. What it doesn't mean is what I thought I had done where I said just select the XLSX. So let me show you how we do this a different way and how you should be doing this. What you should be doing is click on the drop down and go into the text filter and say equals. And now when it asks you what it equals, you type in dot XLSX and click OK. Now let's have a look at the code advanced editor and the code is each where the extension is xlsx okay that was just a quick tutorial i hope it's been useful and thank you for listening